Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Also, new doggo. He, he'll grow up. He'll grow into his paws. And thank you all so much for checking out the channel. Uh, before I get into the subject matter today, I wanted to throw out some ideas for uh, something that I want to do weekly and something that we've done on the channel since the beginning. One, uh, on Saturdays, I would like to upload a video where I go through and I read the comments, not all of them, but I read comments that uh, you know I probably already have interacted with, but be able to uh, talk through those comments and kind of explain them a little bit more than I have been able to in text. Uh, Saturdays, I have a little bit more time available because I, I generally don't work on the weekends. And I just think it'd be really cool. Some people have called me out on some stuff that I may have gotten wrong or that they disagreed with. And I think that that would be a great way to promote that. Other people have said what fun they've had with the channel. And some people have talked about noticing the things behind me. I think it would be great, uh, a great way to, to, to talk about that. And then some people have just come on the channel and just completely missed the point. And it'd be fun to just talk about that. And it would be a great way to highlight everybody out there who is engaging and commenting and talking with us here on the channel. The other thing too, is we want to get back to our, uh, 20 minute segments is what we call them where we, uh, pick a topic and Matt and I go through those topics and we try to get down into the core of them. And uh, sometimes we get a little bit deeper in the fil the philosophy stuff. And sometimes we are, you know, talk about the business side of things. So you guys let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on uh, these two segments? Uh, one of them, uh, we started the channel that way. That's how we did it. We still want to do those. It's just right now, this format is uh, really popular. So I want to continue with this. Uh, and the other one where I just, I highlight you guys. I highlight the stuff that you guys have said in the comments and I do my best to discuss it. Again, I won't do every comment, just, uh, you know, a lot of the ones where they kind of just, you know, stand out. So without any further ado, Young Rippo was on the Critical Drinkers open bar. I want to say it was number 20. Okay. And I watched it. He was on with Razor Fist it, and It's a Gundam. And obviously Mahler is there with the Critical Drinker. And towards the end, they were reading Super Chats. And they were kind of talking about like Thor, Love, and Thunder, this, that, and the other thing. And someone asked, and I wish I could, I, I wish I would have clipped it when it was on because he hasn't put it up on his second channel yet because he usually takes it down for a little while and then he'll post it back up. So I don't have the clip, but somebody asked him, you know, we're, you, they were talking about like the Thor, Love, and Thunder stuff. And if young Rippa has considered adding any like mythological characters or mythology type stuff, into his book and young Rippa's answer was kind of cheeky like eh, you might find some stuff out if you read the first book I don't know maybe maybe not and he could totally be playing that off like it's in there or it's not in there I took it as the, there's some mythology stuff in there but what I really wanted to do is make this video so we could theorize about the mythology like the title of this video you know gods demons and creatures and what is young Rippa going to do when it comes to those things? Is he going to pull uh, from God pantheons of mythologies that we know? Uh, you know, the Romans and the Greeks. And again, I would really like to see some people pull from like the Japanese uh, God pantheon. Because again, that's just the, the, like if you guys haven't like if you guys don't know Japanese mythology, look into it. It is absolutely crazy stories are insane it's amazing like it, it's 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 just bonkers amazing i love it i freaking love it um the other th the other side of that with demons and um with mythological creatures sorry i'm trying to hold on to this little guy because he's a little confused it's his first day in a new home so his name is solomon by the way for people who are going to ask what's his name his name is solomon you know so very strong name for very strong name for a doggo. Um, but I am speculating. I don't know with all of the Marvel hype if young Rippa would do anything regarding the Norse uh, mythology. 
uh, around Thor and Odin uh, and all of them. I just don't think, I, I really don't think with Marvel kind of capitalizing on that. And if he can legally do it, because again, Marvel doesn't own Norse mythology, right? I'm not sure how, because I've read, you know, I've read copyright law and I've read, um, what's the other one for tangible stuff? This is my brain doing the stupid again. <sighs> Patent law. There it is. And I, so I've read those things because I've, I've had to in the past for other projects that I, I've wanted to do. And I'm, I'm wondering what direction he'll go. Because if he wants to bring some mythological characters into this, how does he do it? How does he change them enough that they can no longer be recognized, like if he does the Norse mythology, how they can no longer be recognized as the Marvel characters themselves? That's a big question, you know? And mythology, it also gets into other things, right? Like Bigfoot or Nessie or creatures, you know, will we be seeing creatures like werewolves and pixies and fairies and elves? Is there a magical element? Is there like a fantasy magical element that he's going to be bringing in? I, I feel like that's less likely, but it would be super cool if he were to bring something like that into the book for his world to interact with. I think that would be cool. Um, I personally would like to see, I don't know, I would like to see some, I, I don't know. Ah, uh, I, I I don't know. It'd be really cool to see something along the lines, you know, you know, diving into the mythologies, the leprechauns, the werewolves, you know, vampires, you know, fairies, pixies, things like that. Don't think he's gonna go there. I think when they were talking about mythology, they were talking about more the god pantheons, and some of them out there are very very interesting. Um, but how is he going to do the god pantheon stuff? and avoid Marvel copyright stuff. Obviously, one of the points that Eric made was that, you know, he spent a lot of money on, you know, the lawyers looking into stuff. So, you know, maybe he's already looked into some of these things and maybe he can and he can't. And, you know, those are business decisions and you might have to alter the story uh, accordingly. Um, as far as, like, demons are concerned, will there be, like, a heaven and a hell fight? Like, do we get into something similar to, like, what we saw in Spawn? Um, cause that could be really interesting if he does some version of like a heaven or a hell and those kind of warring factions. Um, I, I would be hella interested if that was a part of his comic book world and if he could introduce that. I mean, are we going to see characters similar to that of like DC's Constantine? Um, which he's always been interesting, uh, not uh, not top of my list interesting but just interesting enough because you do get into those characters that deal with just a totally separate realm of the dc universe um obviously dc is just gone massively downhill but are we going to see things like that is magic going to be a thing i would i i would venture to guess that magic in and of itself is going to be a thing in his universe there's no way it can't not be like magic is such a big uh, point when it comes to uh, comic books and comic book storytelling and all that stuff, like you, you gotta get in in into the magic stuff. Oh, he's asleep. He's yep. He, he's out. He's out. He wants a nap. Um, you've got to get into some of the magic stuff, right? How is that going to compel the characters? Is are we going to see magic done in a way that is on the same level as DC and Marvel. And I, I only reference DC and Marvel because obviously they're the big two and they have been done differently uh, by other uh, uh, smaller creators and stuff like that. But I just thought about, I when they commented that, I was like, oh, that's a good speculation. Can Ripa get away with the Norse gods? Can he get away with doing some of the Roman and the Greek pantheon can he get away with doing the other pantheons maybe he's not doing those maybe he's doing this heaven and hell thing it's just the way that he answered it if you guys caught that critical drink or open bar you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but it just struck a chord with me and i really like thinking about those ideas i, w I wish i could get more specific about what i would like to see but again thinking about the legality here especially around the norse mythology like when it comes to marvel 
if he depicts Thor in a different way, because again, he they can't, because technically these mythologies are still religions today, so you can't like copyright them. You can't copyright religious beliefs. That's that's not a thing. Uh, and I think I want to say Disney tried actually, which is I I feel like that was a thing. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if Disney tried to like copyright Thor. I think I think they or like put a copyright or, or basically saying nobody else could use him, but because he is part of the Norse pantheon, like no, that's not a thing. Like again. I, I've known many pagans throughout my life, and I have talked with them about their beliefs before, and that's something that would be really interesting if Ripa could actually pull something like that off. Like, would we actually see a Thor that's maybe more closely related to Thor from Norse mythology? Would he go there? Can he go there? Would we see Zeus? Would we see any of these characters? You know, Ares. I mean, there's a big thing there. Ares with DC. Would we see that? I don't know. But I would like to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it's a good idea to introduce mythological characters? Whether it be creatures, whether it be demons, whether it be gods. Or do you guys think it would be more interesting to do just like a heaven and hell thing? Um, uh, kind of like what Spawn did. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and let me also know what you think about those video ideas. The video ideas tomorrow, uh, I will be uploading the first one where I go through and read the comments. I will actually be recording that one tomorrow as well, uh, as well as a bunch of other videos uh, to keep you guys here. There's a more young Ripa stuff coming up because uh, this is really fun to theorize about, and it's so nice to talk about something that I'm excited about. And I really hope the book is good when it comes out. And I say that not. Again, not to dog on the guy, but I really hope that Young Ripa knocks us out of the park because if we all get our books and we read them and we go, oh, the hype was for nothing, it's going to be a pretty disappointing day for a lot of us. I'm hoping that's not the thing. So let me know what you guys think. The 20-minute segments, two people, we talk about it. We're trying to go for it. Go back in some of our other videos. Find the ones that look interesting to you. I did one where I, uh, we did one where uh, uh, for Halo talking about the relationship between Master Chief and Cortana, but not in the way that a lot of people do. I think that there was enough writing on the wall when Bungie owned it that Master Chief and Cortana were an allegory for a body without a soul and a soul without a body and a hu and humanity without a body and how those two tied together and a, a kind of understanding the... Uh, the, the humanity side of everything. So there's like that video. We do tons of videos like that. That we lived in the same state at the time. We don't do it now. So we would have to do it, you know, online, you know, and through, you know, uh, uh, Skype or, or uh, StreamYards or whatever. But let me know what you guys think about us continuing conversations like that. And let me know what you guys think about me reading your comments and doing videos on that once a week. And again, if you guys see something, you go, hey, you're wrong on this. I want you to look into it and cover it on your Saturday show or your Saturday video where, you know, you figure out that what you're saying is wrong. Let me know, because, again, proving me wrong and me going out and finding out that I'm wrong only makes me better. With that being said, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I, I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate everybody being here, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.